I'm at GuffinHouse.com. This is Mike Neville from 32 Boots, and we're going to walk you through this year's BOA boot system. All right, Mike. Hey, welcome back to the house. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's been a, it's been a couple of years coming. Yes. Right. How how many years have you been doing this now? Four or five? Has it been more? Than with that? videos with you? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. I think this is our fifth year. Is this fifth year? And then how many years have you been with 32? Um, this is going on 20 years. Holy cow, congratulations. Thank you. It's a big deal. It is, it is. Great brand, great people. Yeah. So very stoked to be there. Cool. Well, it's nice to look at the 32 line. We carry a lot of boots uh, from you guys. And we want to kind of like highlight uh, three specific boots that feature the BOA lacing system. Uh, we have uh, the SCW BOA, uh, we have the Shifty, we're actually starting out with the Shifty, the SCW, and then we have the Double uh, double Blashed, which is yes. which is pretty great. And what we want to do is kind of highlight these, show the similarities and their differences uh, to help you make a better decision uh, for the perfect boot for whatever it is you need if you'd like the BOA system. Uh, Man, let's just kind of like dive right in, right to that shifty. Now, this is a BOA, single single BOA um, Intuition film, super lightweight, awesome price point. Absolutely. What's, what's going on with the, with the shifty for the season? So the shifty BOA uh, comes in at $170. You guys are going to have a couple colors here. We, As you mentioned, we got a single BOA on there. Right. Um, full synthetic, upper on the boot. Okay. Evolution outsole, super light, very eco-friendly. Right along with your comfort fit liner and your comfort fit footbed cool. with a lace-up liner system on it. Sweet. Now, now the, the SCW and this Shifty uh, share a couple of similarities. Uh, it's the, 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 the SCI Evolution outsole. It's correct. So they and both share the Evolution foam outsole, but it is a different outsole uh, tread pattern and mold. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's, see, let's see that one. So this one's a... A little bit more rugged, maybe? It is. Got a, you have a little more traction or grip that's going to be, be going on that one. Okay. Um, but both made out of the same same compound, which is our STI foam. Oh, sure. Yep. Cool. And then they both have the same comfort fit style intuition liner, right? Correct. So okay. this is going to be our comfort fit liner that you see here with the lace-up liner system right. on it. Um, this is going to be a dual density foam liner. Mm. Calls it out right up on top there. Okay. And then internally on it, you're going to have your... Um, EVA molded comfort fit footbed that's going to fit right inside of there. Cool. Now, if my memory serves me right, this is an is this an upgraded footbed for the comfort fit liner? It is as of last year, correct? All oh, right. So it is for for a price point boot. It is a great footbed. Okay. To be putting in there compared to what others are doing on the market. Right. Right. Now, what is the what are the biggest differences between uh, these boots, which are fairly similar single single style boa? Uh, what really makes the difference when people are kind of choosing between them? So the STW you're going to be looking at a $199 price point on it. So you're going to be going $30 up from what the what the shifty bow is going to be. Right. Um, there's going to be a few main differences that are going to fall between these two. Okay. Starting up at the top is going to be the differences in the boa dials that we're using on it. So on the STW, you're going to get what's called the recoiler bow on it. So when, right. when, when you pull the tongue out or go to lace it up on the shifty boa, you're going to see we're going to have some extra slack in there. Right. You just have to push the dial in and then it's just going to take a couple extra turns right. to actually uh, pull all that slack in on the cable. Right. And this one is automatic with the H2E, so there's a lot of slack right here. When I undo this uh, coil or the dial, it automatically kind of coils up, which is pretty damn cool. Yes, that's very cool. cool. So it makes it even more convenient than what it already is with the, with the BOA lacing right. system. And that's one of the greatest things about the BOA lacing system. You know, even, even me, as I'm getting a little bit older, I, I, I still prefer the traditional lace, but as I ride more BOA, there's something great about getting in and out of those things really fast. If you, ha if, uh, you feel like uh, the, the liners are kind of packing out throughout the day or you're, the, the heat from your foot is kind of like making the fit just a little bit different, you can just like tighten those things. Tighten it up a little bit. And you don't even have to pull your, your pants up. You can just no. do it like through the fabric of your pants too. Correct, correct. Which is pretty cool. Um, so these are these are great pieces, a little bit lower price point, which is awesome. Uh, this is like right in the middle. And then th this has like the, the ice, the independent ice stays too, right? Correct, so on the lower the lower zone of this boot, you're gonna get the independent ice stay that you pulled out, right. where if you loosen that up, you can see 
what it does where uh -huh. it actually gives you a wrapped effect that goes around your lower forefoot on there, right. which is just going to aid in making the boot fit a little bit better, a yeah. little bit more snug down on that lower foot area rather than just pulling from the, the sides of the, of the shell. Right. And then we kind of step up from the single boa system into the lashed double boa. Yes. Now, I can't remember how long uh, the lash has been within the line, but I'm, I'm thinking it's probably near 20 years, right? Yeah. Um, is, that, is that true? Gosh, we could go back and look, but I bet you probably 2003 or four was the initial offering with the lash. Okay. Which the lash was one of the, the first boots in the marketplace that was extremely lighter than most of the other boots that were on the market. Because and one of the of, STI Evolution outsole, right? Right. One of the, we, we thinned out the rubber on it. The original ones actually had a little rubber on the outsole. Okay. Um, and eventually that rubber completely came off of it, but um, that was one of the reasons that made it as light as, as what it was. Uh -huh. So the Lash has been a great franchise boot for us. We now offer it in a few different versions. We have the traditional lace, lashed we have the double boa and yeah. then we do have the lash premium which we do have on the on the Love shelf it. here behind us so oh, that's great and then the liner that it features is, is kind of a step up a little bit maybe uh, more supportive still a heat moldable intuition that's exclusive to 32 but it's called the team fit correct instead of comfort fit so you got the team fit liner you notice there is not a lace up on the liner itself because internally inside of the shell of the boot you do have your internal harness inside of there which uh, is going to give you that extra support or a little bit of stability that's needed on it and it is really going to integrate your liner system into the shell of your boot by pulling you back into that heel pocket. All right. Yeah, that's nice. And the double boa zone, can you, uh, this is an H3 coiler uh, yes. and this controls the upper zone, is that right? That is correct and, and that then, is going to have the recoiler on it. Uh-huh. And then the side one, which BOA doesn't allow boot manufacturer to do the H3 coiler, correct? That is correct because there is not enough cable that's going to go around from the lower zone that it controls uh, going up to the dial. So there Got is it. no need to have a recoiler on it, nor will BOA allow it as you mentioned. Got it. Cool. And it does it still have that, uh, the independent eye stays yep. and articulation in the shell too. Yes, articulated cuff on that. You kind of slowly move up on that where you don't get it in the shifty, you get a, a, a semi version of it in the STW and right. then you get the full version of it in the latched. Right. Now, like you said, this is a, a well-rounded franchise boot that's done you know considerably well Correct. for the brand for a really long time with the different lace options and material options like you find in the premium this is a, a, a real staple to the lineup it is right. it is um, th this boot and what we're looking at here on the colorway is Chris Bradshaw's colorway. This right. is the first year that we offered uh, his colorway in the BOA system cool. and um, yeah we continually offer a, a good half a dozen colors in this per year both in traditional lace and in BOA. Right. Now the when people choose their, their boots, it comes down to, of course, number one, how they fit, right? You guys do one-to-one yep. -one last, which is great. Um, and it also comes down to uh, kind of the train choice, maybe skill and ability. If you can kind of, could you pinpoint a general consumer that's going to fall into the shifty, SCW, and the bowler? Or is there just like too much overlap to really kind of define that? There is a lot of overlap when you look at that. Um, however, you can give it a little bit of direction on it. The Shifty Boa is going to be the softest out of the three that we're discussing right now, which is going to give you the most flex. It's also going to have the Comfort Fit Liner, which is going to be the, the softest, most comfortable fit liner out of the box okay. without having to take a long time to have a mold around your feet or having to even heat mold it, right. however you can. Mm. Um, it's a great entry level boot for any of our, our people that are just getting involved on snowboarding, but that boot's going to be uh, ridden by guys that go all the way up to, you know, our 32 team riders that love that boot as well that may like a little bit of a softer boot. Right, cool. Cool. You know, it's a great, great lineup. If you if you need and want convenience of the BOA system, uh, the reliability, the re retracting, which I think is just so totally. great. Uh, BOA boot options are, are phenomenal. They have yeah. a lifetime warranty in the BOA system, which is great. Uh, wow. And, you know, out of these three, which one do you find yourself kind of gravitating towards to ride? Gosh, that's a tough question. Um, as I mentioned, that that's the softest out of it. If you, it, a lot of it's personal preference. If you like the softest feel out of it, right. the shifty is going to be the place to go. Moving up into the STW, you're still going to get a softer flex, right. just a tad stiffer than what the shifty is, but cool. you're going to get a couple extra features added out of it. Sweet. Once you get up into the lashed, you got a lot of different adjustments to be done with the, the dual zone boas on it and also Sweet. moving up into the team fit liner. Cool. Um, so that's a tough call on there. Um, I would say uh, first choice for me 
would either be going with the STW or the lashed. Do, yeah, yeah, do the double lash. Awesome. Well, Mike, again, thanks so much for being here, man. Thank Appreciate you for having me. It. You're welcome. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you guys on, on snow. Peace. Thanks for watching. 32 is one of my favorite brands that makes boots and they actually make shoes under the Soul Tech label. They have great fit, intuition, and a lot of different styles for any kind of terrain type or riding ability. Uh, make sure to check out 32athehouse.com. I selected the links below in the description. Subscribe to the channel there, check out more vids there, and hopefully we'll see you guys on snow.